but I thought it enough for me. Now let's throw my shrimp in. And because of how hot the oil is, if you can see, instantly they start to get, they start to change color. So, I see some people using, um, what do you call it? Coloring, red coloring, to make the shrimp red and whatnot. I mean, you don't have to. The head first. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I eat. Don't swallow the head though. I'm gonna chew it up and stuff it up. And we only see dry and when the food ready. Come. <laughs> to make today is a show us out to one of our subscribers and she's always commenting um the other day we did a video and i mentioned that one of my favorite things to have is my father's recipe for pepper shrimp love pepper shrimp so she said she wanted so she said she wanted me to make a pepper shrimp video and this one is for Renee Douglas, who comments on our videos all the time. So big up to you, Renee. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the steps of how I make my dad's recipe of pepper shrimp. So here we go. All right, so first I have my shrimps here. Um, so I guess then you can use any amount of shrimp you want. So I have, so these are um, king prawns, and this is how you want the shrimp. The whole body, everything, Ed everybody so make sure that if you had them in the freezer or anything make sure that they're defrost and i reckon if you if you buy the shrimp with just the tail and everything it's okay but i prefer using the raw the raw shrimp so this one isn't um boiled or anything as yet so wash it off so make sure you get the shrimp clean and you know us we put vinegar on everything to make sure it clean and take cut some of the um the rawness so here i go with some vinegar washing it off make sure it's as clean as you can get it so i'm gonna leave one as we said the head and everybody on it all right so drain off as much as of the water as you can okay you don't want it to get soggy or whatnot all right so here i have my ingredients over here so what daddy said is um just season the shrimp as normal so i have some um cajun spice blend so just put some of that on it don't over do the seasoning you know um this is what some um, pepper lemon pepper put some of that on some cayenne pepper, cayenne, cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper hot. I use too much. Um, ground or powder onion, powder onion, and some powder garlic or grounded garlic. All right. And I also have some pepper flakes, so some crushed red pepper flake. All right, not too much. And you realize I'm just winging everything, I'm not doing um any specific measurements. All right, so just yeah, just go have a feel for it and a bit of salt, not too much salt. All right, that look right. So I also have some Scotch bonnet pepper because I don't have the real Scotch bonnet, so I did bring up from Jamaica some Scotch bonnet pepper sauce, and I think it works just as well as the real thing so i'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on not too much 
because remember i have the cayenne pepper plus i have the crushed red pepper you don't necessarily have to put and then i'm going to mix it up all right you don't necessarily have to put the cayenne pepper if you have scotch bunny pepper just cut up some of the scotch bunny pepper and fry it up with it you don't have to be putting any other pepper on it i reckon that's fine but you can if you want to all right so this is my shrimp all seasoned and ready to fry up all right so here i have some chopped um sweet pepper onion scallion um garlic so here i have some chopped up that so i'm going to fry that up first All right, so I'm going to turn on the fire if it get hot as yet. So here we go. So I have a frying pan on. All right, so allow that to get hot. And then I'm going to put, so I use canola oil. You can use whatever oil you want. Um, so I'm going to use some canola oil. No pot have no water. Once the pot now have no water, the pan have no water. Oil the pan. Don't have to use too much oil. Just oil the pan. Alright. Allow the oil to get hearty. Barely too much. Barely enough oil in there. Like this is enough oil. I reckon I don't like to use a lot of oil. So let me just really uh, grease the bottom of the pot. Might have to put a little bit more, but we will see as I go along. Alright, so while the oil is getting hot, let me just tip a little bit more oil in it. Alright, that's good. So while the oil is getting hot, just wait a bit, make it get hot. And then I'm going to first put the chopped um, seasoning in, fry that up a little bit and call it judge. All right. All right, so now that the oil, the oil is... <laughs> a oil, a oil, a oil. Now that the oil is hot enough, I'm... Alright, turn up them a little. I don't miss it. I don't use a lot. Are you kidding me? I don't use a lot. So just turn that a little bit in the pot. Just make them get a little sauteed. So we saute them a little. Alright. And if you want to use more than this, you can. If you don't want to use this at all, you don't have to. All right, so that's not enough for me. Now let's throw my shrimp in. And because of how hot the oil is, if you can see, instantly they start to get, they start to change color. So, I see some people using, um, what do you call it? Coloring, red coloring. To make the shrimp red and whatnot. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, basically, I fry up your shrimp. All right. And the amount of shrimp that I'm using is 500 grams of shrimp. Otherwise, half a kilo. That's all. 500 grams, half a kilo. You know what I mean? So, let me go on. I want to, I love it when the shell is crispy because when we're eating it, we eat everything. So leave it to fry up on one side and look, you see, change color. Yeah, so I want it to fry up nice and crispy on both sides.
If you see that you may need a little bit more oil, or as I said, I don't use a lot of oil. So if you see that you may need a little bit of oil, because mine seems as if it's drying out a little bit and I don't want it to be drying out too much, because I need the oil to fry it, so I'm just putting a bit more oil over it. And that's enough. So we leave that to go and fry up a little. Alright. Cutting them. Mix them, stir them, whatever you want. But we'll make sure you get both sides nice and crispy. Alright, I'm using as much pepper as I can. Johanna don't like too much pepper. So I don't make it too spicy. Hey, one time I go uh middle quarters in my buy a pepper shrimp from a lady. I buy blood. I eat the pepper. And the pepper is pepper shrimp. Never buy Should we kid. Uh, mama say mama say spoil pot. And then spoil the pot, then put the whole little pepper in there. Yeah, the pepper. You, you know, because you heard it. And the pepper is pepper shrimp, my man, my man, my life. You know what? I'm going to pull over and put it on and I'm going to put it like that. Listen. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, like, you know, you know, it doesn't sense it's so pepper because you don't taste. You know, you don't get no, you just a bark on the pepper. You know? You know, you get no flavor, you know, you know, enjoy the shrimp itself. And yeah, we call it shrimp for who's in um not in Jamaica and listening to this, we call prawns shrimp. Big, small or little, we call them shrimp. <laughs> so yeah, pepper shrimp. Our uh, swims, not sure they have. Shrimp, shrimp, crayfish. Alright, so they're frying up nicely. Alright, another thing. But I don't use no coloring. Can you shrimp? Maybe people like use coloring penny. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so wait, so wait. So then use coloring penny when they make mixed waters? Because they're always red. A coloring name for them? Probably. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you don't need to use no food dye or whatever. This color is perfect. You fry it up nice with the seasoning. Alright. So, Rene, head and everything. And if you don't like the head, Rene, because here is one without a head. If you don't like the head, you can just pop them off, clean it up, and put them in the pot. Alright? But I love it with the head because my bite head and everything. Alright, so nice and fry. And then now the dry out them because these are the uncooked shrimp. It's much better to use the uncooked ones because more the meat more tender when you already boil and everything the meat is not as tender and nice when you do it like this so make sure you try if you can not get the uncooked one you can use the cooked ones but try get the ones that are not yet cooked all right nice i like when my arm i like it when the seasoning that i put in the pot first to saute starts to get a little bit burnt, not a lot, and then it starts to stick on the shrimp. It's nice. All right, so guess what? I'm gonna put in that secret ingredients yet. So I'm gonna drop it in. And I'm gonna lie it here. It gives it, it, give it the buzz. The buzz, nice, it buzzy. That is secret ingredient. <laughs> Let the shrimp buzz in, I'm not lying. <laughs> So that is big up to you for giving me this shrimp, pepper shrimp recipe. And people, my dad cooks, my dad can cook. My mommy cook well, and my daddy cook well. And I guess that's why I can cook so good as well. Not too bad, I cook good, not too bad. That's true, I cook good. No comment. No, be honest. Do you not enjoy the food when I cook it? Isn't it not delicious? I have to comment? Yes. You have the answer? Yeah. 
No, no, but no, 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 Alright, I never see it before. I have heard somebody with the recover more of rice. Without picking your pot, I don't know that's coming up. Alright. And the secret ingredient, gemroll praise, is honey. <laughs> Not a lot of honey, because you know, make sweet pepper shrimp. Alright? Not a lot of honey. So just a drizzle of honey going on it. So look, just a drizzle, not a lot, and that's it, that's it, I will mix this, all right, turn the stove down, and the onion heat in here, all right, and this is spicy, this is pepper shrimp, this is my dad's version of pepper shrimp and I love it so much. Alright. And this now lasts no time in the pot because Johanna and Shani, they're going to smash it. Alright. Um all right, I'm just going to sprinkle a bit more of the red pepper flakes on it to use enough. Um, well, you don't taste the way I sprinkle more pepper on it. You don't pepper. Yeah, because you have to know how to do it. And that's it. All right, do you play it up? I will just eat this as we go along throughout the day. We know this not serving a time. All right. And just bring her a bit of time over it. That's my time, but that is. Uh, so, this is my dad's pepper shrimp recipe. And let me try one. And see. It's hot. I'm going to try it still. Wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Flavor for my mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Even though the pepper just right. Even though me are the chef, me not supposed to tell you how it tastes. But when I show you how me eat it, the head first. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I eat. I'm going to swallow the head though. I'm going to chew it up and suck it up. And we only see dry and I'm going to food ready. Come. <laughs> Shrimp. The meat is so tender. Don't boil shrimp before. Just put it in the pot. Cook easily. I'm going to grab the egg. I'm going to don't like the egg so you know. I'll have it. <laughs> when you fry it up, <coughs> you can eat the shell and everything. Alright, you don't have to, but you can. I'll take seed. Pass, Jenna. Mommy, mommy, make it. 
Maybe this is water. No, that's how you eat. <coughs> it's So that's that. That is um my dad's recipe for pepper shrimp. I hope you guys love this and I hope you try it. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it and how it turned out for you. As I said, remember fry out your shrimp, make this, the um the shrimp skin crispy and nice, and then you put at the end of it a drizzle of honey, mix it up, and I tell you, you will not regret it. All right. So thank you for watching this video and listen, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell everybody to like these videos and share them. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Tell them bye, Ruby. Oh, bye-bye. The motor is full. Tell them now. Go serve no time. Ruby, I'll eat them off.